hey guys how are you doing welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to talk about the how exactly you can set up your tin into your amazon associate tin means text identification number a lot of people are just searching for the right way to put their tin into their into their amazon associate account but actually they not uh, find the right way because if you not uh, set up your text identification number into your um, Amazon as in the right way They are going to charge your 30% of the whole income that is being to ch big chunk of money So you have to understand that how exactly it works and how how can you do this in the proper way? So I'll show you each and everything step by step. So make sure you subscribe my channel also like that video So without any further ado, let's get started so as you can see here, I'm in the text identification number page here. You can do so by uh, like, likely, uh, let me show you that how exactly you can do this. So as you can see here, it, this is the uh, notice that I brings into my Amazon associate account here. And uh, there's a two notice. One is text identification number, tax information, and another one is payment information. But still I not uh, use any kind of payment in this account. So uh, I'll show you each and everything that how can you also add payment information into the another video So but this video I'll show you the how to you set up your text and fiction number into this uh, Account so let me show you the each and everything step by step. So here can click the text Information here or also you can click here. So both are the same link here So as you can see here, this is the two are the same. So I'm just clicking here to tax information and it will brings up the new page here so as you can see here the first thing is you can select your uh, defined language here so i'm just uh, comfortable with the english so i'm just not changing it anyway so as you can see here this is the text classification that means which classification you are belongs to something like you are promoting your link by direct or any kind of website you have a website you build a website and there is you promoting your link and then you can use the individual since you are not a business uh, or you you don't use this associate with any business purpose so you have to uh, use the individual here so i'm just clicking here individual and the next question is that are you a u.s citizen or u.s permanent residence green card holder or any other u.s residence ally so i'm just not any kind of residence here so i'm just not a u.s person so i'm just clicking here to know and if you are a US person, you definitely click here to yes. Are you acting an immediate agent or any other person that receiving payment on behalf of other person as a flow through entity? That means that you are if you are a person that you are belongs uh, you if you are a person that you are other person that you belongs to uh, other person and you are just uh, receiving payment to uh, as the other person, so you can use this yes option but since i'm not agent or any other person to using uh, this account for receiving payment since i this account is mine and i'm also using this and i'm the main owner so i'm just clicking here to know and the next part is one of the most important parts you have to uh, understand these things and you have to just keep uh, your mind into these things uh, the things is that the address and your name and the tin so you have to understand this uh, pretty nice well the things is here is that you have to put your full name and the country of citizens your permanent address and your mailing address and also you can see here i have a tin or ustin or non-ustin so this is we will going through this process into step by step but first you have to put your name so i'm just putting my name here is the full name and the country of the residence i'm just selecting here as i am belongs to so so this is my country here so i just select it here and also there is a they they are just asking your address here so what you need to do you need to just put your address since you are you are just uh, you, you you something like you have a home that outside of a city and you're living in the city so you have to understand that which address you have to put in the right place so as you can see here in the permanent address will be your home that outside of the city and if you uh, are living in the temporary place, something like a rented home or any kind of um, a rented flat, that you can use this mailing address as the address. So I'm just uncheck here since my uh, the address is a different kind. Since my um, hometown is outside of the city and I'm living in the city, so I'm just uh, changing my address here. So let's make it. So I'm just changing my address here. So as you can see here, it's already uh, into the selecting my country so i'm just also mailing address i'm just uh, selecting also my country here and 
May, what mailing address are uh, using for? The mailing address is using for that if you uh, want to uh, receive uh, Amazon payment check, something like uh, you have a $10 or you have a $15, then Amazon uh, wish to send you the payment and then you can use this mailing address. Uh, they, are, they will uh, send the check to your mailing address. So you have to understand the two proper way to the proper way to put your um, mailing address. So I'm just, uh, uh, let me enter the address here. So I'm just uh, putting my address here. All right, so as you can see here, I've just uh, already done to my both of address here. So I just put my permanent address to my uh, hometown here and I just ma mailing address to my current city here. So I'm just clicking the done in both. So as you can see here, it's already done to both address. Now the very important step that you have to understand with your mind that actually the TIN. Now, what is TIN? TIN is the text identification number if you come with uh, any other things here. So, all right, so after entering your all kind of address, now most important part is come up with. You have to understand this very carefully because this is the most important part and uh, that is text identification number, the TIN. And if you have any kind of TIN, then you, you can uh, enter it to your uh, TIN value box here. And if you don't have any TIN, then I will show you that exact step process to escape this tax. And since you are selecting that we are not US person, then there is an automatic checkout that it come up with that I have no US TIN. And then all you need to do, you just need to uh, uncheck this mark and this few options is come up again. And there's a three option that country where you are able to take pay, pay tax and does not issue. Uh, that means that if you are uh, living in the country that does not have any kind of rules that you have to pay a tax, then TIN is not required. The another option is that I have applied for the TIN but does not receive it yet. If you are applying for a TIN and you don't still receiving it, then you can select this option. And the third option is that I could not have obtained any kind of TIN for the local authority. Since I don't have any kind of TIN, I am selecting this option. There is another way you have to understand that if no TIN is provided, any reduction of the 30% statutory will holding tax applicable for your US source payment will be not applied. That means if you still not provide any kind of TIN, then this will not uh, going to cut out any kind of tax from your account. So this is pretty amazing. So once you're done to select this third option here, you can select this uh, another uh, first option here, but I'm just going to select this third option here. I'm just clicking the continue button here. So after this selecting this continue button, there's another option is come up with, and you have to understand it very carefully with another new mindset. So as you can see here, it's come up with the related to income. Now, what type of income you are generating to your uh, the place you are sitting? So you have to understand that I, since I uh, select the outside of the country of my, uh, outside of the country of United States, then I'm just e selecting the outside of the US. And if you are sitting in the USA, and you are just operating the Amazon S8 account, then you must have to uh, insert this all service will be performed from inside of the US. If you are selecting the outside of the USA and you are sitting around the USA, then IRS will come up with knocking your door and will grab you for the withholding tax. So you have to understand. So I'm just selecting the outside of USA since I'm the outside of the USA person and this is done. There's another thing is come up with the sign in and submit option. So there is some uh, few uh, terms and conditions. You can read it if you have a time that I don't have a time, then I'm just going to put my signature here. Then signature is simply put your name here. So I'm just typing my name, full name here and everything is pretty much done so now you can have the all form is submitted and you have to save and preview option here to click with so you can just rewind that everything is okay here and i'm just clicking this save and preview button here so after clicking the save and preview button you have a, another 
from here that actually remind you that everything is okay and you can change it to click the make change button here since I all is everything is okay and I put everything is uh, okay then I just click the submit from button so after clicking the submit from you can see here that applicable withholding rate is zero percent that means there's no tax will be applied to my account is not it amazing all right so <laughs> you are just using this method to escape this tax since you are outside of your experience you don't you must don't have to pay any kind of tax you know that what i'm talking about so this is it guys so make sure you subscribe my channel and also like the video and i will show you another video that how can you put your payment option to your amazon affiliate account to receive your most precious income into your bank account so without any further ado just subscribe it my channel and i will show you more amazing tips and tricks without any kind of addition so see you in the next